Hello. In the last few months, I got a few requests to prepare a video regarding the Bluetooth or BLE connection. And uh, this video is uh, intended to be the simplest possible way to connect to ESP32 via BLE in, in uh, ESP IDF environment. A few basic uh, concepts that we are going through in this video is uh, that we, we are building the BLE server, the, which means that ESP32 will be defined as a server, as a host. And two uh, definitions that we will be using in this video are GAT, the data layer, and GAP, the connection controls, um, are uh, used and you can read uh, in a lot of uh, online uh, sources uh, regarding uh, those definitions. When uh, we start to dive in the Bluetooth inside the expressive site and we get to the Bluetooth page, we get uh, quite a few possibilities which are starting with standard Bluetooth and go to the BLE connections. The Bluetooth is a very rich uh, protocol that uh, quite a lot of time on the market and the BLE, B B BLE is a light, uh, a new version, a reduced or simplified version of it. Here we can see the recommendation uh, for BLE only cases using the Nimble is recommended. Less demanding in terms of code, which means it is a simplest solution uh, suggested by the expressive. If we dive inside the Nimble definition, we get here a very a very short uh, site with uh, without any examples and it's very uh, hard to understand what practically we can do but we can uh, we can see the programming sequence which is suggested uh, expressive sends you to the minute site where you have uh, more data but uh, it can take some time to understand uh, from this side how to prepare a working example uh, going back um, to the uh, to, to, um, to the recommendations we will start by going over the programming sequence and then dive into the code. Before we do it, I want to emphasize that the code is uploaded inside the, our repository, the BLE ESP IDF repository with the following uh, link. Okay. Now, regarding the code. Uh, we, we see here uh, six recommendations of the uh, work workflow of the definitions, which I copied here in the short meta. For example, initial, initial as a flash memory, initial as a NVS, and so on. So the, those stages of initiation are required for BLE protocol. First, we have to initiate the memory, then the controller, uh, then the uh, nimble definitions, and then we specify the nimble configuration, like a server name, a uh, GAP services, GAD services, and the configuration of uh, uh, the connection uh, layers. 
In this stage, in stage number five, we initiate the application and run an infinite thread, the host task. The host task is an infinite task that is running and it ceases to exist when the nimble port stop working. It enables us to run the application, BLE application, which we can see here, which have two stages. One is automatic definitions of the addresses, and the second is uh, the advertise function, which uh, define the BLE connection. If we look over on the advertise uh, function, we can see a uh, two major parts here. First, the device name definition. Here we are reading, we're defining some variables. We are reading uh, the device name, it put it in the relevant fields in the memory. And the second is the connectivity definition, where we define whether the uh, be, the, our device will be connectable, not connectable, or different uh, connection uh, possibilities, or discoverable or not discoverable on the on the net. Here we have an event handler where I left only two events. The first event will happen when uh, the device will be connected and the other event will be will happen when the device will perform the first action and will be able to perform the second action. Here you have a a function which defines the pointers to the services uh, some kind of definition function which is required in BLE where we define the UUID the different uh, addresses according to UUID Universal Unique Identifier Standard those three addresses that you see is here can be changed and it will work uh, fine but those are, address, uh, are addresses that are very common in different examples on the net. Here we define the type of device in UUID uh, fashion and then we enable the reading of the, reading of the, de the device and the writing to the device. Eventually, the reading device runs the read device function and the writing uh, write device function. Those are the functions of uh, one line. In the write device function, we, we print the data from the client, from our phone, in our case, that was sent to the server, to ESP32. And here we can read the data from is uh, from um, uh, fr from from ESP32. We have the standard definitions of includes, and uh, we ha we have to define the the function before because we use it uh, before the definition of the function. So this line is essential. So let's run the program just to see how it works. In uh, our phone, which we see here, okay, just let it be visible. We are using uh, the no Nordic software uh, which allows us to work
work with the Bluetooth devices. For example, we can scan the system. Now you see that our device is ready and here BLE server is our device. We will connect to, to our device. Uh, here, inside the services, we can uh, read data from the server. Data from the server, which are inside the read function. Okay, this is which is here data data from the servers from this key, and we can send data to the servers. Here we have to use text definition. For example, we send letter A and press send and you see here the letter A was uh, written inside ESP32 and uh, here the event of the connection was ended because in the event event handler we have the event which enables us to reconnect we can press here again and uh, choose the text uh, ability and write a letter let's say b and uh, and send it you see letter b over here so to conclude we uh, uh, have shown a very basic BLA functionality with connection to ESP32 inside the uh, ESP IDF environment and the connection between the phone uh, blue, uh, running the Bluetooth software Nordic in this case and uh, the ESP32 defined as the server was shown. Thank you.